Now, a big obstacle that a lot of new business owners face is identifying what niche their business should be in. Now, of course, you've heard it before that knowing what your niche is and being very clear about it is going to help you to be successful in the business that you're creating to attract the right people and to be able to offer the right solutions in that niche of people that you're serving. Now, I know it's complicated sometimes because you've done all those worksheets, you've done all the avatar work, right? And yet you are still a little confused about what it is that you should be aiming for when it comes to identifying your niche. So this video is really dedicated to just uncomplicating this whole process. I'm going to dig deep into what you actually really need to focus on to really be clear in your niche uh, and just make this go away for you in terms of difficulty as soon as possible so that you can just move on forward with your business. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. Hey, thank you for being here. I am Lydia Lee. I'm a work reinvention strategist where I help passionate individuals to reinvent their work, to create meaningful businesses, to be able to support the life that they want to have. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell button to be the first to know when every new episode arrives every Wednesday in this channel for you. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about dun, 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 the topic of niche. Now, I talked about it before in a lot of ways of five different ways to find your niche, all different sorts of things. But today, I just really want to drill down to the simplest way that you can really take a look at what niche means for you. And very likely, I know you've done all the exercises, you've gone everywhere looking for templates <laughs> and a guide on how to find your niche, but the biggest, most important thing that you should really be focusing on is what problem you're really solving. So I want you to just repeat this after me. Your niche is the specific problem that you solve for a specific audience you're best suited to serve. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that again. Your niche is a specific problem you solve for a specific audience you're best suited to serve. Let me break that down, how you can get clear on what that might be for you and your business. Okay, so first of all, you wanna think about what problems are you best suited to solve? This is important because your skill sets really matter in being a successful entrepreneur uh, or a solopreneur or a business owner, right? You have to be able to be experienced, whether professionally or personally experienced, to be able to solve problems for people. That is the value of why people exchange their hard earned cash for your services. So. Sometimes it could be certain types of people. I know a lot of people have told me, oh, it's a particular type of demographic. It's a particular age group. It's women that li live in Las Vegas, Nevada, you know, like being very detailed about the old school way of finding your niche, which is just like location and age and gender, right? But the real more effective way is really thinking about a particular type of problem that you know different types of people could face. Maybe there are particular types of gender and age groups that face those problems more often than not. But the real focus of, to articulate what you do and to position your business to the right people is to really start explaining the core problem that you solve for a specific kind of person. And that specific kind of person doesn't, again, have to do with demographic, it has to do with potentially their values, uh, what they dream to do, what their goals are, what they're urgently needing to solve, right? Like where are they at in their lives or in their business that actually brings them into a ready stage to be ready to be working with someone like you. Now, before we talk about an audience, I just wanna quickly talk about problems. So as I mentioned, problems are going to be birthed from what you know how to do, right? What problems you know how to solve. That's going to come from your skill set. You can really take a look at some common issues that you've seen people face where you say, oh my God, I can help with that. Now that can come from experience, like I said, right? Looking at your old uh, corporate background or your current background or whatever it is that you know how to do. And in your years of experience being a professional, I bet you've seen some gaps. I bet you've seen some opportunities where big change can happen in an industry you've worked in or you've seen opportunities just in the general world that you live in where you say, you know what, if I was in charge or I could do that or I could help someone do that, I would love to do that. I know how to do that, right? Sometimes it's born from personal experience too, right? I have clients, for example, that have learned how to raise um, you know, a special needs child. That's not something she's been paid to do, but from eight years of experience raising a special needs child, she has the, the credibility to really help someone else that is going through the same thing. So think about your professional and personal experience and think about problems that you're 
motivated to solve, that you're energized to solve, and you believe that something that could bring meaning to your work and you are uh, gung-ho, right, to develop solutions to solve that kind of problem. Maybe it's like a nagging thing that you're like, oh my God, I just really want to do this for other people, right? And sometimes you already know what that is. You're like, I'm inspired to help business owners, you know, build a brand that can impact millions, right? And that can just be that's the intention. And then you want to think about, again, deeper, okay, how would I help these people? What are the problems that they have? Why can't they impact millions? Why are they the best kept secret in the industry? And how would I solve that problem, right? What are those problems that I'm equipped to solve? I'm uh, skilled, skillful to solve, right? But I'm not going to solve every problem under the moon that they have, but specific ones that are best suited for my strengths, my skills, and the impact that I want to make. Now, how do you know which audience to serve? Again, you can un like not complicate this and just really think about people you connect with and are familiar with. For most people that uh, I work with, 99% of the time, they are usually targeting people that are like them. They're helping to solve problems that they once had, just like me. I'm really, the avatars of customers I work with are people who are frustrated with their nine to five job, they wanna do something meaningful in the world, and they just want some goddamn autonomy and freedom in their lives. And so those kinds of people, those people that are in mid-career, someone that's already proven themselves in the corporate market, I mean, they've got skills, right? And they just go, I knew I'm a great worker and I just need someone to help me have make these skills into something tangible for a business, right? And help me launch that business successfully. So I know what's going on in the minds of those people. And so very likely the best people I need to attract in my business from the get-go until today uh, are people that have gone through uh, the experiences that I've gone through, right? And are reaching that milestone moment of needing to make a change or deeply needing to transform the way that they earn a living. Now for your business, you can think about that. Like who is someone like you? Is it, you know, you, you can identify in sort of a profile description if you like, but really think about this woman or man's desire, what their goals are, what do they strive for in the next six to 12 months? What keeps them up at night? Night, you know, uh, and what sorts of values are shared commonly with you? Who, where, who are these people? You know, and you can start to really see very likely these people are really around the communities you're already in, right? Um, they are your colleagues. They could be your friends. They could be friends of friends. They could be in your local neighborhood, in the clubs that you belong to, or very likely in your, you know, watering holes that you're already drinking from in terms of your community that you belong to. Uh, it could be actually just old colleagues, old bosses, old organizations that you've ever worked for and you understand those people in a very familiar tone, right? So the best people you're best suited to help are people you are really familiar with to help, whether they represent you as a person or you have lots of history, right? Understanding this kind of client or this kind of organization or this kind of business. And it's excellent to start there because very likely you've already built some social equity to have access to a lot of these people from your professional background. And so it might not be, um, you know, a complicated way to actually get a hold of these people to be some of your best advocates of your work or refer you to other people or potentially be your client. So hopefully that has sort of simplified how you look at a niche, right? That you don't have to have like this crazy, you know, snazzy tagline to describe your niche, right? You just want to really think about a core problem that you solve for a specific kind of audience that you're best suited to serve. Now, how you can, um, and maybe I'll do a video on this on a, a separate, because it's a thicker, meatier topic, um, how you can really do the second level of really standing out with your niche is very likely being able to highlight your unique approach to solve those problems. Okay, so that the third piece of that, right, the problems and the audience, and then the third piece of like, okay, well, how would you solve this problem? Where this is where your philosophies, your concepts, and the sort of deep values that your your work comes with um, needs to be articulated to people. So those three pieces really form a nice. Um, clear vision for your clients to understand what your niche is. Uh, and it also helps you to stand apart so that they know, okay, there's someone else that could do what you do, but in your approach and in your story, uh, this is sort of what I'm buying, right? And, and that you are a niche too, right? The fact that you come with a very, very unique experience. You have different perspectives than anybody else that do work that you do. You need to stand tall in that and know that just by being yourself and being who you are itself is part of actually having a unique niche in that regard. 
So hopefully that was helpful in understanding what niche is. Again, your niche is a specific problem you solve for a specific audience you're best suited to serve. So I would love to hear from you. How would you articulate your niche after hearing this video? Uh, and if you have any questions about getting clear on your niche, just let me know under the comments below. Thank you so very much for joining me and I will see you next week on our new video. Ready to work for yourself but have no idea where to begin? I'll show you how. Learn how to create a self-employment plan with work you can love with the Work Reinvented course. It's time to stop wondering if there's a bigger, more meaningful way to enjoy your life and work. There is.